I mean, so I want to spread some man time for Manton Daniels .com on the low. I'm just saying they may have got that for man time for Manton Daniels .com on the low, but I don't know. Either way, I just want to make sure that we having this conversation in truth. And I don't want people to be out here spreading diseases and doing things that they're not supposed to do when they're not supposed to do it. So let's just have this conversation in truth. And first, I want to make sure that I give credit to the con to the content creators. Um, so the link is going to be down in the description. And then on top of that, make sure you get that Teach Henley 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. Uh, that's also in the description. And then last but not least, um, I definitely want to make sure that you guys uh, get everything that y'all need out of this Teach Henley. In addition to the Patreon, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Now, the thing that I want to emphasize before we run this back and we want to play it in its entirety, the thing that I want to emphasize is that people are giving people three for ones. I used to say two for ones, but I thought it was three for ones. And the three for or the two for ones was chlamydia and herpes. And that was the outbreak. It was a huge herpes outbreak that was happening down in Houston. Um, and now they've gotten to the point to where women are basically saying, let's normalize this. Normalize uh, this not being an issue as far as people continuing to have herpes and all of this stuff. And I'm like, normalize it? What do you mean normalize it? We're not normalizing nothing. But either way, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a bad do. And the thing that I can't understand first before we run this back is why are people feeling so comfortable um, not strapping up? How are people not strapping up? I don't get it. Like, I just don't trust people. I mean, maybe that this made some more sense back in the 80s and stuff like that when your father was doing cocaine and all of that. And But after Magic Johnson, us 80s babies that grew up in the 90s was like, oh, man, I don't know. But now... You know, based off of the different conversations that I've had, even with a woman that came up on my panel that was telling me about uh, what her experience was and how she got HIV and how she contracted it in the first place, I guess people feel like, hey, listen, as long as I got good insurance or I can pay for my prescriptions, that I can just do whatever it is that I want to do. Or maybe people just don't care. But let me run it all the way back and see what's happening out in these streets. And then we're going to go from there. Hi, family. So I want to spread some awareness before it's too late. If you know somebody that lives in Houston, slept with somebody that lives in Houston or resided to Houston in the last year, I would advise both of y'all to go get checked right now. Just got off the phone with my mentor and he's... Eyelashes, bro. Like y'all be distracting from yourselves, ladies. And I know we talking about HIV and all of this stuff. And it's supposed to be awareness. And we're going to get to that. But it's the eyelashes. Them eyelashes, y'all. Y'all got to cut it out with them eyelashes. Like y'all look like y'all about to fly away. And this is not a knock towards her in particular, but that shit is just not dope. I don't know where y'all got that from. Y'all being influenced by other women, but I don't see no guy that be like, yo, man, I like chicks with butterfly eyelashes. Let's continue on with the video, man. I don't know where the fuck she got that stat from. That's not true. Who told y'all that condoms break 45% of the time? Have y'all ever, y'all gotta go and do your own research. I mean, I know that it's cool to spin a narrative and I like to try, try to be as objective as possible when I'm having these conversations. But do y'all not know the, the type of test that's done on condoms? And I don't know if y'all just getting y'all condoms from Mexico or Venezuela or just these raggedy gas station condoms or something like that, but y'all not getting the right stuff and I'm not going to promote no brand because they're not sending me a bag. But y'all got to do y'all research. That is not true. Condoms do not burst 45% of the time. You got to look it up for yourself. I already know because I've looked at the documentaries and I've done the research on a level of, because somebody tried to lie to me before and say, oh man, no dog, no dog. That's not true. Don't cap on me. Don't cap to me. Don't cap about me. Don't throw no caps inside of the ring. I ain't even wearing the cap right now. Usually I got a hat on, but that's not true. However, she is right about the fact that there are spirits in a lot of the things that we have and we see how operating out here in society. And so we got to be very, very careful about the type of stuff that we take in because the type of music that we listen to, and I know that a lot of people say, oh man, oh, I can listen to it without being influenced by it. No, you can't. You influenced by everything about it. You influenced by every single, you talk like it, you walk like it, your gear and your clothes is influenced by it. How you reference women and how you deal with people on a regular basis is, is influenced by it. Yo, jewels you wore by it. You trying to get a bust down watch because you think that the rappers got it. You are influenced by the music and it's a reason why the, why the melodies, even the tones, even the, the, 
the rate in which the music is played is an influence on you. And we don't even realize that subconsciously that it drains us or it takes our, our energy up and down and it's spirits and music. And so she's 100% right. The things that you are influenced by, and this is why you got to make sure that you, um, you know, fix your algorithm because the things that you influence by can have a huge impact on your view towards life. And then ultimately how it is you operate within this, within this sphere that you operate in. Let me let her finish up and then we're going to go ahead. I think that she right, but I mean, some of the stuff she, she's saying is a little bit sensationalized. Come on, stop, stop, stop. But um, on the flip side, I don't think no dude is just this kind of may slip off. Um, it wasn't a magician. It was something else. We ain't, we ain't going to get into that. But she's right. I think that overwhelming majority of us are overly promiscuous. Uh, we are not careful. We don't have a level of dick discipline. Women are the ones that are paying for it. Um, and they all sleeping with the same man. Houston is basically just a reflection of Atlanta. A lot of people moved to Houston from Atlanta and Atlanta was already suffering. And I had already did whole shows where I pulled up data and statistics that said that the, the infection rate was that was rivaled that of some of these third world countries. So, you know, I don't know why everybody is in a rush to get out and go and meet the devil where he at. That's not the play. It's never been the move. In my opinion, I think that we have to be very, very careful about the spirits that we take in. Spirits that you take in is basically who you open up your legs to, the people that you're around. I don't even hug everybody no more, bro. I don't give that. Some of these people don't even wash their hands inside of the bathroom. It's this right here. It's all that. All of this, uh-uh. I cut all of that out. All of that hugging, them spirits be jumping on you. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe in it, but check your life and check your history and check the people that's around you. I remember I read a story about a woman that... Um, she used to have like some little witch dust in her store every time somebody come in or something like that. And she was basically putting that shit on them and stuff. Man, listen, be careful. Going I'm down there in New Orleans, they got all of them voodoo shops and stuff. I'm just very careful. There's so many other places that I can visit in the world. I don't have to be a part of what's happening down in this particular place. And don't get me wrong. The energy in Houston was absolutely awesome when I went down there. Uh, I just recently did a Patreon meetup, but I had a specific group of people that I was speaking to. You know what I'm saying? They're not a part of that vibe. They're not a part of that game. They're moving differently. They got a whole other objective of what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish. And so that ain't the move for them. And so you just got to be careful of the energy that you give, the people that you surround yourself with, the music that you listen to, and ultimately the people that you sleep with, because it could affect your life in a negative way. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. The best time to join the Patreon is the beginning of the month. Also, teach Henley, thank you for continuing to rock with us. 40% off your first order. Not 30, 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Be careful. Be careful who you open up your legs to. It could be a very, very life-changing event and traumatic for you and possibly your kids. And a lot of these women uh, are having children with kids that are suffering because they are born with diseases based off of the life that their mama lived. Be careful, man. I'm out at y'all later. Peace.